Yo, what is going on here with the Brits episode 189 review? Now, this episode was, I want to say, the second best fight in uh, Boruto. I still think that the Momoshiki fight is a little bit better than uh, this fight, but this fight comes very, very close to it. And the animation this episode was really clean. I don't know who animated this, but shout out to them. I really do like the animation style they went for this. Uh, it was very really gruesome, very gruesome episode. And this this kind of showed a lot more blood than we're, we're pretty much used to seeing. And this episode definitely solidified uh, Kawaki in my top five. Before this episode, Kawaki was nowhere near my top five. It's not that I don't like the characters, that I don't think I've seen enough of him to like like him fully. But you know, with anime adapting the manga, Kawaki has you know definitely moved up into my like favorite character list. And just his fighting style and everything like that and how he he moves this is really cool and you know kawaki being introduced to the anime is going to introduce a lot more fights like this so i'm very excited to you know for what's to come but let me just go ahead and you know jump into it and let's go ahead and talk about it so since this was mostly fighting i'm not going to like pick out every single detail and, and whatnot and just kind of focus on the important things here but so it starts back with kawaki versus garo and one of the things that I learned from this fight is that Kawaki can throw shards from his arm. I don't know if they showed us in the manga. I don't remember, but he uses like the shards to fight and he like takes them off his arm and uses them for different purposes, which is really cool. So he's kind of like using his his scientific ninja tool on his body to um, utilize in the fight and sort of use it to his advantage, which is just a, sort of a unique ability. And they, they did a really good job at, you know, animating it and how it's used and, and whatnot. One of the way that Kawaki used the shards, like he used the shards to make these like shoes for him. And I thought that was cool. Like he took off some shards, has some shoes, and now he has armored feet and armored hands. So Kawaki is is damn near versatile when it comes to, to combat. And he seems pretty well versed. So whatever Kara was doing in that facility, they were definitely training him well. But he moves very fast and he did this move that reminded me of Haku when he did the ice mirrors and he was like jumping back and forth and slashing them up. Uh, kind of reminded me when he was like jumping on the rocks, jumping back and forth, kind of in that sense. So I, I kind of see the fighting style he's kind of going for and what kind of character he's going to be. But this fight really made Garo seem like a real threat. And uh, I don't think the manga really gave him that like threatening essence but definitely in the beginning of this this episode it really gave him like that that like he just has a whole bunch of raw power and he's just just a menace and i really like how the anime really highlighted that because we definitely i don't think we got to see that in the manga but um you know later on in the fight uh at one point he's just taking blows from kawaki and he's just visibly getting angrier and angrier now garo has the upper hand and he's about to land a strike on Kawaki because Kawaki's like in the air or something. But Kawaki like grabs a piece of his like his hand, the shards off his hand, and um, was able to deflect it and land a clean strike on Garo's abdomen. However, I'm um, guessing the blade on his arm didn't fully um, make contact, and it went away before he was actually able to land that uh, striking blow. At this point, after that whole Konohamaru thing, Kawaki's karma starts to activate. And Boruto starts to feel this in his body as well, and both their karmas activate uh, at the same time, and they they he can feel what a uh, Kawaki is feeling. And I like how they did this scene because uh, Garo is holding Kawaki, and similar to how Garo was holding Kawaki when he was younger, um, you can see the fear in Garo's eyes just come back. Like they 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 did a really good job at setting that up last episode, so. You can just see the fear in Garo's eyes that he just remembers the the power of the karma and just what it did to him originally. Kawaki is just absorbing everything that's being thrown at him left and right, and Garo is just he just gives up, and, and it's 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 shocking how like just Kawaki's presence with the karma is enough to make Garo just have a PTSD episode and completely just freeze up i like he was like a deer in the headlights he he completely gave up plug the ethernet cord out he just he he's done he's done so and then kawaki punches garo in the stomach and like garo did not even try to defend himself garo was well in the rights to 
to at least put an arm up, but he was just like, I'm done for. Like he just, he just, he, he was literally frozen in fear and they just did a good job of animating that. And also like the, when he punched them and like his arm extended out, it extended out into the cliffs too. If you pay close attention to the side of the cliff, there was pieces of Kawaki's arm like off the side to a little bit, but this was so gruesome. Garo's body was blown in half and I've never seen in Naruto or Boruto that I can remember where it got this gruesome. We've never gotten like bodies blown off. That was that was crazy. I've never seen anything like that in Naruto or Boruto and it, it threw me off for sure. But Boruto, you know, he's able to absorb these attacks too and he was able to uh, defend Team 7 from the aftermath. But pretty much from here, Kawaki passes out and, you know, Kashi Koji is going to let Kawaki be taken by the leaf and so he can get some more intel. And that's basically where we left off, right? Katasuke is, he, uh, he also did a test on Kawaki's bloodstream and we learned that basically Kawaki's blood is a whole scientific ninja tool. So pretty cool. Um, great episode. I ain't got much to say else, man. This episode is great. This will give us a really good example, like what kind of episodes we can see with Kawaki and his fight style and whatever. So um, let me know what you guys thought about the episode. I really did enjoy it. I would definitely give this episode a 10 out of 10. Um, but yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and join the Discord. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Sing. 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 Sing.